Hey YouTube, Josh Weebout here again with another little video lesson. I got a comment on my uh, demo of the Ignace Tourmaster at Guitar Guitar and a particular point in the video um, where I play this lick and a guy wants to uh, find out how to play it. So here it is. It's um, My guitar's tuned uh, to drop D, so... For mainly just the end part of the lick. So it starts off like this. Uh, 13th fret on the B string, bending up to the root note, so to D. And adding a bit of vibrato, and then it goes like this. So I'm uh, adding in the B note, in, which in D is um, the major 6th, which would give it a kind of Dorian sort of flavour, so... And then I'm going down onto the G string and hitting the 13th fret, which in this case would be a G sharp, or A flat, or whatever you want to call it. And um, just that's the flat 5 interval, so getting a kind of Dorian fusion y bluesy sound out of this lick. So that's the first part. And then it's kind of the same motif on the G string. And you've probably uh, seen loads of players do that in like blues or rock soloing. And then the last part is uh, just a cascading thing from the D uh, root note on the D string. That uh, combining shape one of the pentatonic and shape five. Just bending the minor third up a little bit to make it a major so to get a nice bluesy sort of sound. So. that so far and then uh, it's got a little slide from the fourth to the flat five um, as uh, I got a low D I just slide from the tenth fret to the twelfth fret to go back to the root note so it's so all together So I'll do it up to speed now and see what happens. <laughs> Something like that. And then there's another lick that I like to do, although this isn't in the video, but uh, it's cool to get a like uh, Mixolydian sound. And still staying in D, but you can put it in other keys. Uh, it starts on the 12th fret on the G string, hammering on to the 14th fret. And this is kind of like a little sweet lick, so so it'll be up, hammer down, down pick on the high E, and then I'd hammer on to the G on the the G note on the fifteenth fret, so and then uh, I'll do this. So this so this little arpeggio would be like an A minor seven arpeggio. So what I did there, I go up, and then with my third finger bend up to the G note. So it goes A. So after the, I descend, and then slide down to the uh, 11th fret which would be the major third in D, and then back hit the D note again, and then bend from the flat seven on the B string to the root note again. So that all together. It's a nice little lick to throw in every now and then to get out of uh, playing conventional pentatonic bluesy sort of things. And sounds quite flashy and it's cool. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if it was any use to you.